Right, so um, I've just got a new sleeping bag. Um, I saw lots of reviews on YouTube for the Aegis Max bags. Um, so I went and ordered one uh, because the other sleeping bag I've been using had been, um, I don't know, it was about 20 years old and um, just a cheap one. Um, and I've been on a few camping trips recently and um, froze to death on a couple of nights almost. Um, so decided to buy a new bag. Um, didn't want to spend a tremendous amount on it. Um, so I thought I'd um, try something cheap. Um, if this doesn't work out, then I'll invest some um, some more money. But I've heard great things about the Aegis Max bags. Um, this is the Aegis Max M2. Um, a lot of the other, um, look, there's a load of reviews on YouTube for the Aegis Max Ultralight, the, the small one. I think that retails for about 70 US dollars. This one's just a little bit under 100 US dollars. I think it was about 93. Um, and I watched a YouTube video um, where somebody um, washed the sleeping bag before they used it and um, got the down to puff up a lot more than um, uh, than it is in its sort of current state. So um, I decided to have a go at that myself and see what the output was. Um, <clears throat> I'll provide a link to that video below because it was really useful and it helped me uh, make this decision about buying, buying this bag. Um, but um, yeah, that person used um, this stuff, uh, Nick Wax Downwash Direct. So um, I bought exactly the same stuff and I'm gonna go through that today. Um, so um, yeah, here's the bag, it's very small. You know, this, uh, this bottle's probably about six inches high. So it's a little bit less than that. Um, not very high uh, overall. Um, and this could probably get pulled down a little bit more to, to make it um, a bit smaller still. I'm really happy with the size of this. Um, I'm using it for motorcycle camping. So, um, uh, this should fit quite nicely in one of the, the boxes. Um, so, um, and it will allow me to sort of go camping a little bit more into uh, into the uh, colder months. Um, I'm in Australia and it's, um, uh, it's just gone into May. It's uh, currently the 4th, of, 5th of May. And um, we're starting to see some colder weather and um, I'm still keen to go camping. So ho hopefully this will uh, allow to, to do so in relative comfort for a little bit longer yet. All right, so um, yeah, here's the bag. Um, this is the stuff I'm going to wash it with. Also got some, um, some tennis balls to um, help with the drying process and to unclog the clumps of um, clumps of down once it's washed. Um, so um, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, document that and just sort of see, uh, show you what um, what kind of difference it makes both before and after if you're interested in doing the same thing. Right, so here's the bag and um, we're just going to uh, unpack it and see what sort of level it lofts to normally and then um, wash it and we'll see what sort of result we have at the end. To, to loft up, but um, the video I saw showed it lofting up to a point where it had more, more or less um, started to stretch the fabric, so all of the um, the fabric was flattened out. So um, I'm hoping to get it something to close to that state because that'll make um, things a lot um, make it uh, a lot more comfortable in much cooler weather. Uh, it'll increase its um, level of um, lots of people would have seen videos of this if you're looking at buying one of these yourselves. Um, it's um, super lightweight. Um, as, as for the specs, 
Um, I don't know them offhand, but I'll put them up on the screen. Um, it's got a, a decent zip. Um, it zips just halfway down the bank. Um, it's, it's mummy style, but it doesn't have the hood on it. Um, but it's got a drawstring to tie around there. And uh, yeah, I'm a bit over six feet and I fit in it just fine. Um, I like the fact that it's quite wide. Um, and that allows you um, to feel a bit less constrained. One of the things that sort of turned me off the uh, mummy style bags is um, how cramped you might feel inside them. So um, yeah, I was quite pleased with, uh, with how this one actually fits. Okay, so I've left it about 10 minutes um, and let it loft up. Um, I had it out of the bag for a couple of days and it didn't get too far beyond what we see here. I mean, this isn't bad, um, but I think we can do better. Um, I'm really hoping we can do better with the um, with the downwash. So, um, yeah, the um, foot box, I mean, it all sort of puffs up a little bit, if you sort of agitate it a little bit. Um, but, um, yeah, I want the, the down to do a little bit more, do a little bit more work. So, um, yeah, we're gonna uh, put it in the dish, uh, in the washing machine. Um, I know this, this is going to make a total mess of the bag for a little while, um, but um, going through the drying process and um, getting the, uh, the, ball, the tennis balls to agitate the bag while it's drying, um, I've seen really good results of it sort of transforming it from a you know, horrible clunky mess into um, you know, the, the nice puffy down snooker bag that you want to be able to sleep in. So um, we're going to go through that process now and um, yeah, hopefully uh, we get a good result. Okay, so we're going to wash the bag. Um, the Nick Wash Down Wash suggests actually hand washing um, sleeping bags, but um, again, I've watched a few other videos where people have done them in a washing machine. Um, I think the key point is Make sure you have a front loader rather than a uh, top loader because the ag agitator can really damage things apparently and you know, potentially tear the fabric. Um, this is a fairly um, lightweight washing machine so um, I'm pretty confident it'll be okay. Um, uh, the instructions on here uh, for a front load washing machine it suggests removing all the detergent built up from the detergent dispenser. Apparently normal detergent can damage the fabric in the down so make sure that's all nice and clean and then it says um, put no more than two items in the washing machine and add two full caps of this stuff which is the equivalent of 100 mill milliliters which is um, a third of this bottle this is a 300 mil bottle so um, and then it says to wash according to the um, cleaning instructions um, I think it just says to wash on a cold setting and find it. I'm not sure there is a label on here somewhere. Yep. Okay. So, what are the settings? No. Hmm. Um, I can't find any washing instructions on this bag. Um, might be there, but um, I think the the goal is to wash gently. Um, so I'm just going to put it on a cold wash. The spin cycle will be reasonably slow um, in case that's likely to damage it. Um, but really, it just—I mean, it's not dirty. It's a brand new bag. Um, so it doesn't need a thorough wash in that sense. I just need to um, get the down wash through it and um, get it all wet, get it, get the, the wash, the down clean, and then um, get it all dried and uh, agitated back up. So we'll, we'll see how this goes.
there were times where the bag was sort of staying still but the drum was moving around it so I'm a bit concerned about that I wonder whether it's stretched the bag or anything so fingers crossed I hope it hasn't but anyway let's have a look um, yeah it feels pretty bad it's very very wet still um, <laughs> Big sloppy mess, or you can feel they're just big clumps of down. Um, I think at this point you're supposed to be quite careful that you don't um, you don't stretch it. Um, I had it on a fairly slow speed um, to spin out the the water, um, but I think looking at it now, given the amount of water it's sort of kicking around in the bottom, I think I might um, put it in for another spin, so um, I'm going to do that. Okay, so I finished the second spin. I had it on 800. The bag is all finished. Yeah, that's a lot drier. It's actually wet to touch before. Okay. Get in the machine dry it. Still feels super clumpy, but that's to be expected. And then throw the tennis ball in. Four. Oh, it's on a cool setting. bag is pretty much dry except for where the down is gathering. Just been pulling with the trying to pull the plugs apart, shake them apart a little bit. I think the test balls are helping but sometimes the balls end up inside the sleeping bag. So yeah we get these big wet wet patches where the damn chunks are things and let's try and break those up so they dry a bit quicker. Um, yeah the other video has all said that um, it takes maybe two or three hours so um, we'll just keep going. Okay so here's the finished product. Um, it's removed a lot of the creases. The um, the loft has um, I don't know. I think it's probably one and a half times or nearly doubled um, what it was before. Um, and I think probably with a little bit more coaxing, it could probably um, get better still. I think there's still a bit of work to distribute some of the um, uh, the down within the, the channels. Uh, this side is much higher than that side, for instance. And uh, there's still a lot of um, clumps to sort of pull apart as well. Um, it took a heck of a lot more time than I anticipated. Um, lots of different cycles through the um, through the dryer, and then lots of pulling apart of the um, the clumps in between. Um, but um, yeah, I think it'll be will be worth the uh, the effort, and I think this will be a heck of a lot warmer. Okay, so again, um, very pleased with the way this turned out. Um, so this was the Aegis Max M2 sleeping bag, down sleeping bag, the 800 fill power bag, um, and uh, the results from washing it with or Nick Wax down wash.
episode not to undo all of the good work. Um, I'm going to um, pack the bag in the um, uh, the storage bag that comes with the with the sleeping bag. Um, it's a nice big bag, so uh, hopefully it won't lose a lot of its loft. And then I'll um, just pack it into the stuff sack when I need it for uh, for a trip on my bike. Thank <music> you.